Welcome to Taiji's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to fillet a fish. So this is something I always wanted to make since I started this channel because this is really my passion. I love cooking them, I love filleting them, I love eating them. So I don't remember this, but my mother told me that I was only drawing fish when I was a child. Uh, she even had a photo of the first drawing that I drew other than fish. So uh, that's how much I love fish. And also I've been filleting fish since I was like five, six year old. Because my grandfather loved going to fishing. He used to take me quite often as well. And all the fish we caught, I cleaned them and I cooked them. And this is just something that I just loved since I was a child. And the best lesson from my high school time was dissecting a fish. I can still imagine the classroom where we uh, dissected this fish. It was just like my dream lesson. But I am not professional, I'm not trained in filleting fish, but rather just easy way to do it. So I hope you bear with me about that. And before we go into the filleting, I want to tell you about the five conjugation of cooking fish. So there are five ways to cook fish, depending on the freshness. Raw, steamed, grilled or roasted, poached or boiled, and lastly, fried. When the fish is really, really fresh, then you can eat it raw, or sashimi or sushi style. If the quality is a little bit lower, then you can steam it. If the freshness goes a little bit lower, then you want to grill it or roast it, because with the grilling, you get rid of like the fishy odor. And when it's a little less uh, fresh, then you want to poach it or you want to boil it. Then you add a little more flavor to it, and then it kind of covers the odor of the fish. And then when it's really, really not fresh, then the last resort is frying it. Because with the heat, with the oil, then you get rid of all the unwanting fishy odor. So depending on the freshness of the fish that you have, then you can just kind of decide how you want to cook it. You can of course use a very fresh fish for frying. That's still of course gonna taste good. You don't want to eat the fish raw or steamed when the quality is really not that great. Then let's get into the flame. I hope you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoy doing it. Then let's get started. So here we have a sea bream. I think this is one of the most popular fish and I think this fish is farmed, not naturally raised. You can tell that from kind of the face, this looks kind of not so sharp. The wild fish uh, looks much sharper and also the tail. The tail is a little bit weared out because they're swimming in the nets and they get weared off. Wild fish would have like much sharper tail fin. Before I'm going to start to fillet the fish, I want to tell you a little bit about how to tell the freshness of the fish. The first thing you want to look at is the eyes. So if you see closely in here, this fish is pretty okay. I would give this like 75 out of 100. Uh, not the best quality, but acceptable. Fish store clerk told me that you can eat this raw. There are two things to look at uh, when you're looking at the eyes. So one is the eye color. So you see the color of the eye, the pupil, is a little bit clouded. And when it's really fresh, then they look like this. It's really clear black. But this is a little bit faded, but still acceptable. As it gets old, then the fade will go much, much more. And then you'll see like this. And then these kind of fish you don't really want to buy, or at least not for sashimi or raw. The second thing you look at at the eyes is the concave of the eye. When it's really fresh, then you have really round eye. Uh, this is okay. When it gets older, then it'll start to dent. And when it's dent inside, then you don't want to get that fish. Second thing to look at is the smell. You want to give it a smell, and if it has a little bit of an uncomfortable smell, then you might not want that. But if you're not used to this, it might be hard to tell, especially if you don't like the smell of the fish. In general, if you feel a little bit uncomfortable, then it's really not fresh. A really fresh fish smells like fresh fish. And the third thing to look at is the skin, the color of the skin, but also the dryness. So unfortunately, this fish has, this part is a little bit dried out, and also the tail, you can kind of feel that it's dried out. So it's okay, but not so top fresh. Uh, also, the storing was not that particularly good. There are the three things to look at from outside. And then the fourth thing, uh, you might need to open this gills. So the color of the gills is the color of the blood. This color is, I have to say, try to take a part out. So as you can see, this color is not particularly so great. If the fish is really fresh, then you have a really bright red. But oh well, this is uh, acceptable, I would say. Then let's fillet the fish. The first thing you might want to do, uh, if you're not professional, then uh, get rid of these fins. Because these fins have really, really sharp, pointy edge. If you get stabbed with this, it's going to hurt, but also because they have a lot of bacteria, and when these bacteria goes inside your finger, they can swallow them really badly. And here, the bottom fin is okay, but the last fin right here, there are two pointy ends here and here, so you might want to get that just to be safe. To get that off, you can just use a regular kitchen scissors, and then just kind of... And 
And the second thing you want to do is take off the scale. Somehow this has been taken off partially and but not fully. I don't know why they even started at the first place, but we're gonna take off the scales. If you have a particular tool for taking the scale off, then you can use that. But if you don't, then you can just use a regular knife and then just go along the scale like this and then you can take them off quite easily. So this is finished, I'm going to take the scale off here, and then we're going to wash this quickly. And then here you can just take away this paper. And then now, when you're using a regular cutting board like this, wooden or bamboo cutting board in my case, you want to wet this first. Otherwise, if you put fish directly on it when it's still dry, then all this smelly water is going to sink in here. And this is going to stay stinky for quite a long time. So what you want to do is you want to wet this first. And then work on a wet cutting board unless you have a plastic cutting board. And then in order to prevent this to slide off like this, I'm going to put in like a kitchen towel a little bit wet and then put it over like this it won't slide as much then this is all clean so what you want to do is you want to open this fin off and then you want to make an incision here there's a hard part here so you want to cut in here and then don't go too deep otherwise you'll damage the inside organs most part it's okay but if you cut into the gallbladder they give out like a really bitter liquid and you don't want that on your meat so just like that very lightly that much oh by the way this may be a little bit graphic for you for those who might not like seeing like fish organs and such so if you don't like watching those skip to some other video of mine so and then then the other side, go under, right under this fin, and then you want to go in and cut off the spine here. And then, and then you can open up like this. And then open up from here, there's an um, anus butthole right here, so you want to cut in from the butthole. And then... So let's see, this is the liver. That's the gallbladder that you don't want to break. That's the stomach all the way through. That's the intestine here. And I would assume these are the eggs. These are premature, so um, I don't think I would eat them, but they're fully grown and those are also very delicious. And I think here is the, here's the heart. So you have the heart, liver, the stomach, the intestines all the way through. It's the gallbladder and here are some eggs. And the fish has kidney right here. So what you want to do is when you open this up, you want to break this. And here, what you want to do is you want to uh, kind of damage this part because here, right here, that's the kidney. And you want to try to get all that out as well. So uh, seeing from the blood, it's not top quality, but the fish is uh, all right, uh, acceptable. And then you can take out the gills. You want to go along here and then cut under here and then just take this out like this. And then we have taken out the organs and then head and the body. So I'm just gonna take this out here, put this in here, and I'm gonna wrap this in this paper so that um, the smell doesn't go outside that much. If you have a paper like this, then you can just use a regular kitchen towel or a newspaper or something. Then we're gonna wash this again. So it's very important to keep the cutting board always clean so that all this blood doesn't go into the meat of the fish. So right here is very important to get rid of this blood. So here's the kidney. You want to try to get all that kidney out from here as much as possible with your finger. Now we can finally fillet the fish. So before we do that, I'm gonna take away the extra water here. You want to have always clean cutting board, but also not wet. And here I'm also going to cut off the head for the next part. I'm gonna take this off right here and then cut this into half. Don't throw these away. These have still a lot of good meat here and you can make a really good broth out of this or other delicious dishes. I'm gonna make a video on those as well, so don't throw these away. And then the head, you want to cut this in half. And to do that, the sea bream have teeth like this and they have the sharp teeth on the front and there's always the middle right here, right here. You wanna put your knife right in the middle like this and then you want to put in the knife right in the middle like this. And then you want to go directly under like this. And then you can separate pretty easily. This may take a little bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. 
And uh, by the way, I forgot to say this, but when you are filleting fish, the one of the most important thing is having a really sharp knife. There's nothing more that makes it more difficult or more dangerous filleting fish with a dull knife. Make sure you always have a sharp knife. And if people are interested, I'll make another video on how to sharpen a knife. So I will let's fillet this in three pieces. So I'm going to make a slice right here and then make a slice right on this side only to cut the skin and then what you want to do is you want to push away the meat with your other hand like this away so that this kind of opens on its own and then you cut alongside the middle bone like here like this only to the spine and then you flip around and then you make the same thing you make a very thin slice only on the skin like here like this and then you want to push it away from you to open the meat like this and then once you got to the middle like this you want to cut this through and then just to the tail and then here uh, the rib is still attached so I'm gonna cut off only the ribs right here so the meat is looking okay so let's cut up the other side we're gonna just have to do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna cut off a very thin slice on the surface of the skin and then pushing it away like this only to the middle and then flip to the other side and cutting from here, cutting only the skin and then pushing away from you. I want to cut in and then put the knife through and then cut through and then if it's too hard, then you can just open like this and then cut it like this. Then we have here three pieces. We're gonna use this bone for the stock as well. Just wanna cut this into eatable pieces and the tail, there's no really meat. So, and this I'm gonna throw away. And then, so there's this rib cage. So I'm gonna go right under the rib cage. Try not to take away much meat. I'm gonna go just under the rib cage, like that much. Once you got to a certain point, there's no rib cage here, so you just wanna cut this away. And this, of course, you can use too for the stock. Here as well, this side is actually much easier. Go through under the rib cage, taking away the membrane. This side went much better. So I have two fillets and the fish bones. So this is the end of this video. I'm gonna make three other videos using this fish with the one fillet. I'm gonna make sashimi platter, four different kinds of sashimi with one of the fillet. And the other fillet I'm gonna make sake steamed fish. And with the fish bone, I'm gonna make fish bone soup. If you wanna see those videos, please subscribe. Then you get notified for those videos when they come out. I'll try to make them as soon as possible. If you found this video informative and if you like what you saw, please hit the like button. And I look forward to see you in the next video. I'll say bye for now.